Good morning, students. I hope you are well. I hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, this video is to review with you your job for today, your task. Uh, I'm trying to give you something that's that's interesting and, and kind of fun, um, something that you can do during class time just to kind of um, get yourself a little bit more versed with coordinates and uh, understanding and things. So uh, I want to show you just a tutorial and I'm going to show you the first two slides of this activity just so you can get an idea of what your objective is and how you have to go about it and then you will uh, get to play a little round of mini golf today. So uh, here's a practice hole and this is just basically showing you how this works. So you'll notice that you have here a walled off area, you have this little purple spot here and this is going to drop a whole bunch of little golf balls and then you have obstacles and the job is to get the golf balls into this little uh, bowl here with a star on it. You have to kind of collect the star within it and by doing that you get a successful um, take on this. Now you uh, obviously this is already set up for you so you have to see how it works and what you have to do. So I'm going to show you the first hole uh, to give you an idea of what it is that you need to do. So you'll see that you have a green segment with two points on it and you have a uh, ball drop section and a hole that you need to get them in. So if I launch it right now, you'll see that the balls do not go in the hole. So what do you need to do? You have to modify the points on this segment to the correct coordinates in order to get the balls into the hole. So if I look at this segment right here, I can see that the points of the segment are on the left side on this little set, uh, sidebar here. So I see that there's an X and a Y. 2 and 8 is one of the points that's on here. So if I look at this, 2, 8 is this point right here. And it's the X point that goes first. It's the Y point that goes second. So 2, 8 would be this point, And 2, 2 would be this point. So if I modify one of these points to move the segment, like say, for example, if I take this X and I move this X to, say, 6, the segment will update. And obviously, that one's not the correct way to approach it. But if I go to the second point here and I say, well, instead of 2, 2, let's try maybe 6, 2. OK, 6, 2 didn't work. It's not far enough. How about 8, 2? 8, 2 might work. Let's try that. So if I bounce off my balls, OK, not quite. So it didn't work like that. But if I try maybe 9, 2, maybe that will put all the balls into the hole. And it does. OK, so your job on these, uh, on these holes in this challenge is to come up with a way to modify the segment that's on here and try to get the balls into the hole. So here we have some obstacles that you have to contend with. So you may have to move both points to get the ball into and around these obstacles. Okay. So um, and you have the positions and you have the coordinate plane to help you locate these points. So again, your job is simply just to move this segment so that the balls will drop, in this case, from this drop zone and then into the ball uh, hole where the star is. Okay and get as many holes done in the class time you have. Uh, just so you know that because you're watching this video, you have to, uh, I'm going to put something on the screen that is, uh, this is related to my last video, but uh, for my eighth graders, uh, but I'm gonna put something on the screen here. Um, private comment on the assignment uh, on today's, actually, exit slip uh, at 9.45, right? Because that's when you're po that's when you're post. Um, uh, what do I want you to comment? Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Comment your favorite sport. Okay. Comment your favorite sport. So if you put on to today's private comment on the exit slip, because you know it'll be a classwork section, you can add to your submission or to a private comment um, and add your favorite sport, and I will give you five distance learning points, five distance learning bonus points. And remember, those count as quiz points. So you, this is your benefit for watching this video and following the task list that I've given you, okay? So go ahead and do that, and then uh, I'll see you later. Have a great day.